Did you ever wonder if the food you eat has a direct effect on your health, well-being, and longevity? Well, I'm here to end that mystery. You are the food you eat. Ever wondered how something as simple as food could be your most potent medicine? Join us as we delve into the world of nutrition with Dr. Michael Greger, a renowned physician and author of How Not to Age. Dr. Greger is a leading advocate for harnessing the power of plants to prevent and even reverse chronic diseases. In this video, we'll explore the incredible healing properties of various foods and uncover the scientific evidence behind their remarkable health benefits. From fighting inflammation to boosting immunity, Dr. Greger will reveal the surprising ways in which our diets can transform our lives. Get ready to be amazed as we uncover the extraordinary potential of the plant kingdom. Dr. Greger will now tell us about our first food. After bones, I talk about preserving your bowel function in chapter number two. <laughs> Ran randomized constipated diabetics to either cookies containing a tablespoon a day of ground flax seeds or flax-free placebo cookies for 12 weeks. And not only does the flax improve constipation symptoms, but resulted in eight pound weight loss over placebo, 25 point lower blood sugars, an astounding drop in hemoglobin A1C and 17 point lower LDL cholesterol, all for about 10 cents a day of ground flax seeds. For a head-to-head -head test between flax seeds and psyllium, sold as Metamucil, a third cookie group was added with about 10 grams of psyllium, and the flax seed beat out the psyllium for constipation relief, weight, blood sugars, and cholesterol, and is about four times cheaper. Flax seeds were also directly compared to the prescription laxative lactulose and worked better as well. So flaxseed for constipation. Okay, what about your bladder? Bladder function. Prevalence of overactive bladder syndrome increases with age, reaching about one in three. No wonder bladder relaxing drugs are a multi-billion dollar industry, yet may only reduce bathroom breaks by about half a pee a day compared to placebo. But, a quarter teaspoon a day of dried cranberry powder worked nearly four times better, about two fewer daily trips to the bathroom over placebo, and that's without any of the drug side effects, dry mouth, constipation, sedation, impaired cognition, rapid heartbeat, urinary retention, and the urinary and the visual disturbances that lead almost two thirds to stop taking the drugs, whereas cranberries are just tangy. Right? So dried cranberry powder for bladder relaxing. What about men's prostate? For men, urinary issues are more an enlarged prostate problem, having to get up multiple times uh, uh, a night. Um, uh, wee hours of the night. Uh, okay, sorry. Cranberries to the rescue there. Um, again, uh, even just a eighth of a teaspoon a day of powdered cranberries can significantly improve prostate symptoms. You can buy cranberry uh, powder in bulk at a cost of less than a penny per day. Okay, dried cranberry powder for the prostate too. Any other prostate benefiting foods? What about salt? Palmetto, the, the most common herbal supplement used for prostate symptoms, based on dozens of randomized controlled trials involving nearly 5,000 men, no clinical benefits. But pumpkin seeds work. More than 1,000 men with prostate symptoms were randomized to either about a tablespoon a day of plain pumpkin seed kernels a proprietary pumpkin seed extract or placebo. Uh, the study was funded by the uh, drug company that made the supplement, uh, but the supplement totally flopped while the pumpkin seeds themselves worked. Okay, pumpkin seeds for the prostate as well. Any natural remedies for hair loss? Pumpkin seed oil was pitted against the leading drug for hair loss in women. A little less than a quarter teaspoon applied to the scalp once a day uh, versus a dose of the drug. And they both worked, but the drug worked better. Uh, but rosemary oil, however, may be more closely matched. 
A hundred balding men were randomized to twice a day minoxidil like Rogaine versus a rosemary lotion. It took six months, but significant comparable improvements in hair counts in both groups with no significant difference between the two. The rosemary lotion appeared to work as well as the drug. Rosemary oil for hair loss. Sounds interesting. If you want to give it a DIY try, you can premix about 10 drops of rosemary essential oil to each fluid ounce of your favorite lotion and rub a quarter teaspoon on your scalp twice a day. Uh, cost wise, uh, that much rosemary oil would come out to be about a penny per week. Thanks for the tip. Tell us about natural remedies for hot flashes. However, hormone therapy is highly effective in decreasing menopausal hot flashes. Is there any way to keep cool without the clots and cancer? In the US, menopausal hot flashes are considered inevitable, but there isn't even a word for hot flash in, uh, in Japanese. And this may be due to their greater consumption of soy foods, but you don't really know until you Put it to the test. Harvard Center of Excellence in Women's Health funded a randomized uh, a crossover trial of a half a cup of unsalted soy nuts a day and achieved about a 40 to 45 percent reduction in hot flashes within two weeks compared to the control group. That sounds significant. Anything else? Given that a plant-based diet may also be effective for managing menopausal symptoms, researchers decided to combine the two, uh, a plant-based diet plus whole soybeans. In fact, two randomized control trials found that uh, plant-based nutrition with a daily half cup of soy, cooked whole soybeans can reduce the number of serious hot flashes by 84 to 88 percent within 12 weeks. Overall, most randomized to the plant-based bean group ended up free of moderate to severe hot flashes compared to about 95% still suffering in the control group. Tell us about osteoarthritis remedies, Dr. Greger. Osteoarthritis is the most frequent cause of physical disability among older adults, yet how do we treat it? Acetaminophen, Tylenol is considered the first line uh, painkiller, but guess what? It doesn't work. I mean, it works, just not much better than a sugar pill, but at least it's not going to make things worse. Like other things we doctors have cooked up, like steroid injections, which actively worsen joint deterioration and offer no greater pain relief than placebos, or arthroscopic surgery, which may end up tripling our risk of ending up having to get a total knee replacement, any natural remedies for osteoarthritis? Osteoarthritis patients were randomized to two ounces of freeze-dried strawberry powder versus a fake strawberry flavored and colored placebo powder. And compared to placebo, the real strawberries significantly decreased constant pain, intermittent pain, and total knee pain, and improved disability and overall quality of life. I mean, so, you know, even if the strawberry study is some total fluke, what's the worst that can happen? Tastier smoothies? I'll drink to that. Thank you, Dr. Greger. Remember, your health is the lock, and we're here to provide the keys. Keep turning to Key Health for insights that unlock your full potential. The key to lifelong vitality is in your hands. It's just one bite away.